end of our poetry uh, trip moves now to Trinidad Sanchez, who is very active on the poetry scene and also in doing work with regard to Central America and other places which require the light of human love and the light of human commitment, which is where everywhere we are, right? Trinidad Sanchez. Right. past week, I, I heard a, uh, a line that I liked, and uh, I was told some time ago that if you steal a line, steal a good line, so on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> in view of that, uh, it's in the darkness that we see the stars, and uh, I think tonight it's in our struggle that we recognize the stars, we recognize our hero, and it's a pleasure for me, it's an honor for me to be here and to, and to share two poems with you this evening. I know that this is a uh, it opens with uh, it opens with uh, uh, a few lines from another poet by the name of Earl Henderson, who is one of your finest poets here in the city of Detroit. Let us stop this madness. Let us stop this madness. Derek Barfield brutally died. Brutally died. Clarence Scott brutally died. Brutally died. Chester Jackson brutally died. Brutally died. A hundred children brutally died. Brutally died. Brutally died. Earl Henderson. My poem is the bullets from the guns that massacred the invalids in San Miguel in Salvador. The bullets from the guns that killed the poet in Johannesburg, South Africa. The bullets from the guns that killed the actors on TV for no other reason than our own enjoyment are the same bullets from the same guns that killed the children in Detroit, Michigan. The bullets from the guns that killed Martin Luther King, that killed Mahatma Gandhi, that killed Oscar Romero are the same bullets from the same guns that killed the children in Detroit, Michigan. When will it stop? When will it stop? When will we learn to listen to the artists teaching the children songs of life. Let the children grow into man, womanhood. Let us stop weeping for the invalids in San Miguel, for the poet in Johannesburg, for the children in Detroit. Let us take a stand. Let us stop the bullets from the guns that kill our children. Let us stop teaching the children that the bullets from the guns are the only way to deal with life. Let us let us destroy the factories that make the bullets, that make the guns, that kill our children. Let us take a stand to share life, to break bread with each other. Let us stop this madness, the bullets, the guns. Postscript. As one of his last acts the day after Patrick Purdy machine gunned five children to death and wounded dozens of others in Stockton, California, President Ronald Reagan pardoned a man convicted in Texas of illegally selling machine guns. <laughs> and this poem, uh, several years ago, I think it's appropriate for this evening, I was asked to write a poem for some missionaries and uh, uh, for a group of church women and uh, it's difficult when people come up and say, right, would you write a poem for a special occasion? But this was the poem that came out at that time, and I think it's appropriate for tonight, and I, I'm sure you will agree with me. I called it Missionaries for the Year 2000. Friends, or whatever other word you want to use, you can put it in there. Men and women working with the poor for their liberation, touching the pain in their struggle for freedom, prophets sharing their lives and denouncing the unjust economic order of the rich which exploit the poor, brothers and sisters standing in friendship with the marginated of our society to advocate for change, for justice, and for those looking toward their own empowerment. Men and women of the word, like the word who became human in order for the blind to see the poor, brothers and sisters committed to building communities where liberty is proclaimed to captives, where the rich are sent away empty, prisoners are set free in the good news, and sharing the good news, singing songs of justice, peace, love, songs 
of liberation. Angels without wings, revolutionaries taking up arms which are for loving and announcing the good news. Faith begets justice, begets faith, begets justice. Men and women liberated by their own struggle to see the poor, touching their pain and remaining a sign of hope with those whose hope is all but lost, while dying a thousand deaths with their own pain of lost hope and unbelief in a gospel, which is not easy by human standards, but rises from the struggle for the resurrection of the new world, where there are no rich. Instead, we are all poor, strong in hope, full of love, shouting, crying out songs of justice. These are the followers of James and Grace Bonds, of Sojourner Truth, Lutillo Grande, Dorothy Day, Oscar Romero, Fannie Lou Hamer, Rosa Parks, Stephen Pico, Nelson Mandela, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Dolores Huerta, Cesar Chavez, and Jesus. These are the missionaries moving from the now toward the future, beginning preparing for the new century in the year 2000. Thank you very much.